All right, James. Well, you may have seen those Lime bikes scattered all across Mobile. Well, after just six months, those rental bikes are rolling out of town. NBC 15's Nicole Fierro asked Lime Bike why our city is not good enough for its business. Kim and Greg, Lime Bike signed this three-year contract with the city, and now it's leaving March 15th. It hasn't even been a year. Paper ride bikes, a transportation convenience that attracted many to download the Lime Bike app and give it a try. I was running late for a meeting, so I jumped on it and went. For a commuting back from uh, lunch with some coworkers, so it was it was good. But not good enough. Based on our experience, they seem to be very popular. People seem to be using them. Um, we certainly were aware that they wanted to expand their options and and were pursuing some. Uh, some ways to try and do that. It just sounds like uh, they couldn't make that happen when they wanted it to happen. We asked Lime Bike why it was giving up so soon. The company says it considers 1.5 to 2 rides per bike per day to be a success. Mobile has 500 bikes. That would mean 750 to 1,000 rides per day, an amount our city hasn't met yet. I wish I could have stuck around. I hate to see him go, especially with the city trying to revitalize downtown. The city says there's still hope for other transportation options. Their competitors are, are, are watching the market. They watch where Lime goes and, and so uh, word spreading pretty quickly. Many riders came to us with the question, what's going to happen with the money that you've already put on your Lime back account? Well, the company tells me you can get a refund if you call and request or use that money in any city that has Lime bikes. I'll have that number for where you can call to get your money back on our website, mynbc15.com. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Nicole Fierro, NBC15.